We go now to Chicago. Workers at the New Era Windows Cooperative are celebrating the grand opening of their unionized, 100 percent worker owned and operated business. In 2008, some of the workers were involved in a famous six-day sit-in after Republic windows and doors gave workers just three days' notice before closing the factory. We had had enough of having no control over our lives, of having no control over our jobs. Even though this industry was coming back, the housing market collapse had come back, they were again out of work. And they, they called me up on the phone. They said, we're done. I called Brandon and let him know that we need his help. We need to start the process. Now is the time. So he flew right away to Chicago and said, let's do it. We start the process to buy the factory and all that. A lot of people thought that may seem really quixotic, kind of impossible. But I had been in Argentina where over 200 factories had been taken back by their workers. I knew it wasn't easy, but I could see these guys had a lot of dedication. This is a group ready for a fight. You're prepared to be arrested. I'm prepared to be arrested if it's necessary. We've been here since yesterday, and we aren't going anywhere. We are committed to this. This is what the end of the line looks like for our current economy. Your factory gets shut down. You have to find a job somewhere else. Industries pull out of your city. These are the places that we really need to figure out, so what's next? You got bailed out! We got so Traditionally, foundations just use the grants, which is only really 5% to 10% of what my foundations do. We think it's important that we look at the other 90 to 95% what we can do with investment capital to support the right kind of economic development that's aligned with the organizing and base building that's taking place in those communities. That's a huge opportunity to be part of the answer. And it's, uh, what? A total of... Over 500. The working world provides capital to worker-owned and community-owned enterprises. The working world as a mission is to increase the possibility of ownership, of economic uh, control for more people. It's about being radically inclusive. The Chorus Foundation came to help us with our financing capital. They see the potential of something as big as this. What I think is really special about working world is the way that they're a movement support organization to have the technical assistance to help folks bring their best selves to that process, but also the right kind of lending capital to make it possible. We don't get paid back unless the business starts becoming profitable, so we are 100% on their side. If we would have had to go through the traditional financing, then we wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation. They have been here helping since the beginning, and they're still here with us. You know, we want to be doing like 50 windows a day. Divide that by eight, you're talking $20 an hour. That sounds good. <laughs> That's, That's what, what we need to be. Now we're talking. The kinds of enterprises that the working world supports and nurtures are, to me, like the, you know, a really great case study in what a new economy enterprise can look like, where the people who work there are also the ones who are making the decisions, who are also the ones who are seeing the financial benefit. And, you know, they're the owners. The workers are the owners. I can truthfully say that my worst day working in my own company is better than my best day working for someone else. Nosotros tenemos un trabajo y y tal vez en un futuro podemos crear trabajos para más desempleados porque no solo quiero un empleo para mí, quiero empleo para miles de personas que están afuera sin trabajos. I used to hate to get up every morning and go to work. And now I'd love to come to work. Time and time and time again, the assumptions made about what workers could do have been wrong. Workers in a position of ownership and the decision making, it's like humanity is sort of blossoms again on the floor of a factory. Uh, the machines are again in the hands of the people rather than the reverse. We spend a lot of time, you know, networking with each other as philanthropists, talking about our grant making, and comparatively very little time talking about our investments. I mean, I think that's a big problem. A denial of where most of our activity in terms of the movement of capital actually is. It's really exciting right now to see foundations and individual donors talking about their investments, talking about divestment, talking about different ways they could invest, not just to think about mission as a constraint that investments have to align to, but like how can we actually have our investments and our grants alongside with each other working together. Working World is a really important organization in terms of helping people create those opportunities. We take great pride in our work. 
We take great pride in our product. Esta lucha fue importante porque les demostramos que nosotros también podemos. Si nosotros pudimos, todos podemos lograrlo. It's a no era for the working class in the United States, even in the world. We are competing, we are winning, and we are very proud.